welcome back to my channel. So Halloween is coming up and today I'm going to be showing you guys five Halloween DIYs for under five dollars. Now everything that I'm showing you guys in this video cost me five dollars or less to make. If throughout the video you're wondering where I got some of these supplies then be sure to check the description because there will be a list of everything that I'm showing you in this video and where I got it. So without further ado let's get into the video. Alright so the first thing I'm going to be showing you guys how to make are these vampire teeth pumpkins. Alright guys, so for this DIY you are going to need three mini pumpkins, a carving tool, fake vampire teeth, black and white acrylic paint, and two paintbrushes. And if you don't have the paint and the paintbrushes, you can use googly eyes as well. Alright, so the first step is to take your pumpkin and take your carving tool and we're just going to cut out a square for the mouth. And if you want to know how big, roughly, you can use this to measure and then keep coming back as you're cutting. Alright, so once you got it cut out, just take out your piece of pumpkin. Maybe clean out some of the seeds. And then see if your teeth will fit, and if they don't, then you just need to cut away a little bit more. Alright, so once you got it cut out, the teeth should fit in there like this. Next, we're going to add the eyes. Alright, so for the eyes, I'm going to be using black and white acrylic paint, but if you guys have googly eyes, then you can just glue, glue two googly eyes up here, and that might actually be easier, but I'm going to paint my eyes on. And then once the white paint is dry, you're just going to go in with the black paint and finish the eyes. Alright guys, so once you've done all that, they should end up looking like this. Now let's move on to the next DIY that I have for you guys. So the second DIY I'm going to be showing you guys is how to make these blood-dripped candles. Okay, so for this DIY, you guys are going to need three white candles, one red candle, a lighter. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is take our three white candles and our red candle, and we have to melt the wax in the red candle and then drip it onto the white candles, and that's what's going to give us the blood drip effect. Alright, so once the red wax has melted a little bit, you're just going to very carefully pour the wax over the edges of the white candles. So once you drip the red wax on all of them and light the candles, they should end up looking like this. Now let's move on to the third DIY that I have for you guys. So the next DIY I'm going to be showing you guys is how to make these paper bats. Okay, so all you guys need for this DIY is some black cardstock paper, a pair of scissors, and some tape. Alright guys, so for this DIY what you're going to want to do is cut out half of a bat wing. I drew this one um, and then cut it out, but if you guys aren't that good at drawing, then there is a link in the description of this video that has the template that you can print out and then that will give you the shape. But what you're going to want to do is take your black cardstock and fold it in half and then just trace your wing. Once it's traced it should look like this and just keep repeating this for as many bats as you want and then we're going to cut them all out. Alright so once you guys draw a bunch of them on there just cut them out and then when you unfold it it should look like this. And just a little reminder make sure when you guys are cutting these you're cutting them from the folded side in and not from the open side that way when you open it it'll be in one piece. So once you got them all cut out, the last step is to just take a piece of tape, stick it on the back, and then put them on the wall. Once you've taped them all on the wall, they should look something like this. So the fourth DIY I'm going to be showing you guys today is how to make this spider vase. For this DIY, you guys are going to need some fake flowers, a hot glue gun and a glue stick, black spider web, black spiders, a vase, and black spray paint. So the first step is to spray paint the entire vase black. So once the spray paint has dried, the next step is to take your spider web and cut out a small square and then we're going to wrap it around the vase. And then we're just going to add a little bit of hot glue to make it stay. So this is what our vase should look like. And then we're going to take some of our spiders and glue them on the vase. I don't know how many I'm going to do yet, maybe two, one on each side, um, but you can just glue them anywhere you like. So 
by now that this might be hard to see, but once you've glued the spiders on there, the last step is to just add the flowers. Alright, so once you're all finished, it should end up looking like this. Alright, so the last and final DIY I'm going to be showing you guys is how to make these pumpkin candles. Okay, so for this DIY, you guys are going to need three more mini pumpkins, a carving tool, and a pack of tea lights. Alright, so what we're going to want to do is cut a circle out of the top of the pumpkin, and I'm going to start small and then measure as I go to see how much bigger I need it. I would suggest always cutting smaller than you need and then working your way out depending on how much more space you need. Alright, so once the tea light fits in there, all you're going to want to do is clean out the rest of the inside of the pumpkin. So I'm just going to use my finger and scoop it out. So once it's all hollowed out, it should look like this. The last step is just take your tea light and press it in. Like that. Alright guys, so once you clean out the pumpkins, put the candles in and light them, they should look like this. Alright guys, so that was 5 DIYs for under $5. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Alright, bye guys!